Bonfire and Bourbon is a small Swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women. Their products give a luxurious experience, accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners. 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com, and use code HOLLYBB20. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. Kazumi, um, gangbang gal. Yeah. How did you get that name? I love gangbangs. I've talked pretty publicly about this time I did 50 guys in one night. Um, I would say I find gangbangs very empowering and I do them pretty often, but in my personal life, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't think I, I, I have one gangbang video on my OnlyFans, but mostly it's like a thing I, I just do pers- like in my private life because mm-hmm. I feel like I need to do it to take the edge off. So explain to me how you find that empowering because I'm sure, as you know, most people think that gangbangs is like one of the most degrading things women can do. So what's your argument against that? I mean, the, the easiest way to explain it is like if you were a guy and – 50 women wanted to suck your dick, you'd be like, this is pretty awesome. So if you flip it around and I'm the guy and all these people want to suck my dick, it's just as awesome. And also like all the gangbangs I've been to, all the guys are like super about consent and smelling nice and just being, cause I I go to like these like normal people gangbangs they are not for porn or like for an event or for money. I just do them to be in the moment and all the guys there are very like hi can I touch your elbow hi do you want a massage hi like they know that this is for me and I feel like the conductor like Mm -hmm. the visual of having all these men ready to pleasure me like turns me on so much to know that they're here for me you know Mm -hmm. like because theoretically if you're in a gangbang and in an actual gangbang like where it's all about my pleasure so it ends when I want it to end like I'll have a guy in there for two minutes and I'll be like cool Another guy comes in two minutes. Cool. I'm not really fucking to completion at these things. It's more like I just wanted like the visual of being surrounded. Mm-hmm. And so like after like a guy's like two minutes and I come because I come really easily. It takes mm-hmm. me like 30 seconds. I feel like my vaginal canal brings my juice spot like right there. So like I feel like I rack up the body is like pretty fast, like 30 minutes. And it's like there's no real difference between fucking one guy for 30 minutes versus 10 guys for 30 minutes, except the visual of feeling mm-hmm. like I'm, I'm a really cool gal, you know? So wait, so I, I'm assuming that the guys don't come in. So wait, do you usually come with every guy? I, I like to come with every guy, but that's because it takes, I, I'm, a, I, I'm one of those blessed women who can come from penetration. So like, it takes me like 30 seconds. Cause my G spots like right there. And that like, you know, like most guys like big or small can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, I'm like, so jealous of yeah, you. I these, cannot come from penetration. And the, oh, no. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all right. My it's it's, it's a burden. It's the burden that I carry in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for you. <laughs> So, okay, sorry. I just, um, this is so interesting. So how do you set these up? Like, do you recruit guys and they come to your place or do these happen kind of naturally at these sex parties that you I would say with all my guy friends, I can pretty much call them for a gangbang if I need to, but I have like my favorite sex parties that I go to where I know if I go, there will be a trade because another thing I love too, is I love, I love making the regular Joe happy. Like my type of guy is a regular schmegular, normal job, normal penis, normal height, normal everything. I just like them very normal because I like to feel like the big deal. Like I like to feel like they're like, wow, I will never forget this moment. So I like going to like um, sex parties that my friends throw where it's like a new batch of guys and everyone has their condoms and stuff because I only have protected sex with these. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it's like just new meat. You know, I, there's nothing like the one thing better for me than dick is new dick. And making that new dick really happy that they met me. <laughs> this is going to sound so weird, but you, <laughs> you remind me so much of my mother. Oh, <laughs> awkward. My, my parent, no, because my parents were swingers oh. and they used to go to orgy parties. And my mom's whole thing was she was always like, I would always like look for like the ugliest man in the room that wasn't giving him any attention. Cause I'm like the goddess of love and I wanted I to like make that. him feel good. Wait, your mom sounds like the coolest person ever, but did they tell you that you were, they were swingers like since childhood? Or? Yeah. I've always known. I've oh always known God. they worked in porn. And like they're, my family's very open about okay. sex. So. I, I definitely want to copy that and just have my kid always know that this is, this is cool. I know? think, you know, I mean, there's so many people that find 
I think it's all on how you're, how you're raised, right? Yeah. Like, so if you're raised without a sense of like shame around sexuality, mm-hmm. um, then you're not going to really internalize that, yeah. you know, when you grow up. I think a lot of these people that are so like angry or aggravated towards like maybe the way that you behave and that you do gangbangs and are so mm-hmm. judgmental of sex workers and stuff like that, they're generally people who are raised in yeah. environments that put a lot of shame around sex. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, like they carry that into um their adulthood or maybe they were raised maybe the opposite maybe they're raised in a environment with like no boundaries and my parents had boundaries yeah. they weren't like sex parties happening at my house when i was a kid yeah of course. um you know they were to me they were just parents but they had this like other life that mostly honestly existed before i was born and once yeah. i was born like they calmed down a lot mm-hmm. but yeah they had you know they were young and they were yeah. hot and it was the fucking yeah. 60s and they like were in london and I they love were like that. They were having fun, you know? I, I went to a sex party in London, and I felt like every, everyone there was like, keep saying American things. And I was like, cheeseburger. And, <laughs> I was um, just going to say cheeseburger. <laughs> and um, the president, and, and um, I don't know, words. And they were like, oh, my God, I love that word. Keep speaking. And I was like, I don't know if you guys are actually turned on right now. I think you guys are just like, LOL, this stupid American. <gasps> oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> that is so cool. I definitely I want to be open to my future children when I like, because I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm way happier the way I am than if mm-hmm. I was in yeah. a different way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so you want to have a family someday? Oh yeah. Like right at the edge of menopause, I want to have a kid or two. Um, but right now I just want to like live my life and stuff, but it's always funny. Cause when I like talk about gangbangs, I feel like I didn't say anything wrong. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just kind of speaking my truth. And sometimes the comments are so infuriated. And like, I could, like, people are like, you should kill yourself. Like, what the hell? Like, if I meet you in the street, I'll punch you in the face. And I'm like, do you want women to enjoy sex or not? Like, mm-hmm. do you want us to, like, like what? See, that, that's what I think, like, is the underlying culprit with, you know, so many men specifically. Oh, and, you know, honestly, women too that have such a huge problem with gangbangs is the idea that like a woman could derive pleasure from sex and that a yeah. woman would enjoy the attention and be an exhibitionist from all of those men. Mm. Cause you're right. If you think about it, the flip side, like a guy being like with a bunch of girls, there's not as much stigma around that, but yeah. it's the opposite. It's like when women take sexual empowerment, like into their own hands and mm. unashamedly enjoy sex. I think a lot of people have problems with that. Yeah. And that makes me want to gangbang even harder. <laughs> it makes me suck your dick just a little bit more. <laughs> oh my God, I love you so much. Bonfire and Bourbon is a small Swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women. Their products give a luxurious experience accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners. 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com, and use code HOLLYBB20. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. 